for his presence fills this place. I greet beloved church, those also watching us online with the peace of the Lord. I invite those who can, who are able to, open our Bibles in the Gospel of John, chapter 10. God brought you here to show you all of his love. Throughout the service, since the, the start, many were the operations of God. Maybe you haven't seen it, but there's still time. Open your heart. Lower your guard. And let everything that doesn't come from the Lord, let everything aside. Put everything aside. And let His Holy Spirit operate. For this place is His dwelling place. God dwells in the midst of the songs. And we have done that. We have done so for the past 25 minutes. We praise Him for He's is worthy of all praise so john 10 verse 11 i am to good da sua vida pelas ovelhas mas o mercenário e o que não é pastor de quem não são as ovelhas vê vir o lobo e deixa as ovelhas e foge e o lobo as arrebata e dispersa ora o mercenário foge porque é mercenário e não tem cuidado das ovelhas eu sou o bom pastor e conheço as minhas ovelhas e das minhas ovelhas sou conhecido. Assim como o Pai me conhece, a mim também eu conheço o Pai e dou a minha vida pelas ovelhas. Ainda tenho outras ovelhas que não são deste aprisco. Também me convém agregar estas e elas ouvirão a minha voz e haverá um rebanho e um pastor. Louvado seja Deus. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise you for your greatness and mercy. And now we ask, continue to speak to us, that our soul may absorb everything you have prepared from eternity to us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Tonight, as we were praying for the service, there were many manifestations of the Spirit showing the need that many, uh, the, the needs of many that would come here tonight. The need to hear God's voice, the need to, to feel God's care. And when we, when we invite people, come to the service, come to my church to watch a service. The service is nothing more than a, a an environment that we have prepared to worship God and in the midst of this environment his presence wherever he finds space he dwells which we call the acts of justice of God so since the beginning of the, the, the this message know in your heart that what you have prepared for you is what God has prepared for you, the world cannot give it to you. And you're not here because of your own will. But the Holy Spirit called, touched your heart. So let God speak to your heart. Let the voice of the Spirit echo on, on, your, on your ears. So you know, may know Him. And the Bible shows from Genesis to, to Revelation. We see the story of Bible, how God prepared a solution, a salvation for man's life, a, the, the, the getaway card, if you will, how man got himself into for disobeying God's voice. <laughs> now we see a, sp a spiritual war. Darkness against light, the missionaries and angels of evil battling and fighting to take us to hell. And also, but also, we have the presence of God and His angels acting on our behalf to rescue us from all this evil. And Jesus, in all throughout the word, He is the, max, the maximum expression 
of his love, of God's love. Since the Old Testament, we see Jesus being presented as a good shepherd. The, the good shepherd, he knows, he knows the value of the sheep. The shepherd, he, he cares for his sheep. He knows when the sheep needs help. In, in, in Psalm 23, Psalm 23, sometimes he, it is just a, it is just a text that's opened up sometimes in people's houses. But Jesus being our shepherd, he preserves us. He, he guarantees us what's essential for our lives. He, take us, he takes us to, to calm waters. And what we, we are living here, after a week of, that was so difficult, hard work, so many things that we went through during the week, whatever you're going through, you came here and you found calm waters. You found, you found waters that will not scare you, but will give you peace. So you may understand that when you're in the presence of God, you, you quench your, your thirst, you satisfy your soul, and the Spirit cleanses you. God is the one who provides the food. The Good Shepherd is the one who's, who seeks the best for the best. He searches for the best food for his sheep. And the Psalm 23 says, prepare, prepare a table before me. So when the, she when the shepherds in the past, they would, they would meet, they would talk, they would talk amongst themselves and say, oh, where have you found good food for the, sh for the sheep? So there is a table, there is, there is food there. Go in there, go in this direction and so on and so forth. So now the shepherd would take the sheep, go there, would analyze to see if there were no uh, predators and then so so he would have the condition to provide for his sheep you have been called for this table for this banquet that God prepared for you tonight so your soul may be fed and even if you have come uh, weak thinking about giving up you have walked into green pastures and we know that the word of God has 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 fed our soul a shepherd a good shepherd he does not allow the predator to come and take his sheep he, he even gives his own life and that's what he says here Jesus says he says very clear I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd he gives his own life for his sheep when David was young, he, he used to work for his father, taking care of the sheep. That was one of the, that was one of the, back then it was one of the most despicable work, uh, jobs, if you will. Um, and he was doing that. He was taking care of, the, the, of his father's sheep. And the, the word says that a bear, in another occasion, a lion, trying to get his sheep and the word tells us that the experience of David his love made him fight without having any weapon he fought with his own life taking a, 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 his own risk just to preserve his sheep the parable of the, the, the sheep the lost sheep he counted, he counted them, and he realized there was he was missing one sheep, and he did not settle until he would find the lost sheep. Found it, put it on his shoulders, very joyful, because he had found his his sheep. Maybe you came here tonight. Maybe you're thinking about you feel like you're a lost sheep. God has found you and he has put you on his shoulders and he's saying you are mine and I am yours you belong to this fold 
and I want to take care of you. I want to help you. I want to preserve you. Brethren, when Jesus dies and he resurrects again, and he presents himself many times after he, he raises from death, glorified, one of these, these, one of these, these situations, one of these moments, he presents himself and his disciples don't, do not recognize him because their lives, their minds were already away from God's project. What they learned, what they had learned through Jesus when Jesus was in their midst. But in that moment, they were anguished. They were, they were more concerned with death and they went to fish. So Peter went back to his origins. When he was called to be fisherman, fish, fisherman. And John recognizes, says, he's Jesus. And immediately Peter understand, and there is the fear of God on his life. And he puts, his, he puts back his own clothing. And God and Jesus had prepared food, fish, bread. They received a blessing. They understood. They understood the Trinity, what the Trinity had prepared for them. You know, he asks Peter, if you love me. Jesus is doing that with us tonight. Maybe some of us, maybe we have thought about going back to our old ways. But God has called us to be fishermen. And now you have exchanged, exchanged your clothing because God has spoken to you. This service is a dialogue. We are talking to God. We're speaking to him. And he speaks to us. And he says, Peter, do you love me? He says, yes, I love you. Then Jesus asks him again. Second, third time. He somewhat embarrasses Peter. He says, it didn't matter what Peter would answer because he knew. And then Peter answers him the last time. Peter, you know everything. Every time. Every time Peter would answer his question, Jesus would reply back says, take care of my sheep. Sometimes we say we love the Lord. We need to take care of our own sheep. This fold, we are safe in his presence. The predator has no power when we are in this wonderful fellowship with him. When we are in the body, when we are hearing the voice of the shepherd, understanding that in his presence there is solution, there is resource, there is answer. Maybe you came here tonight thinking that everything is over. You lost the taste for life. Or even try to end it. Don't do it. He's, he's, your, he's your shepherd. He wants, to care, he wants to take care of you. The sheep is one of the more fragile animals that exists. There is no uh, way to defend himself. You know, no claws, teeth, nothing that can be used. No horns, nothing that can be used as a defensive weapon. We in ourselves don't have anything. But when we belong to a fold, there is not a mercenary taking care of us, but the, group, the true shepherd, we don't need to use any weapons. For we have him to defend us. Jesus himself, he comes. And it is necessary for us to, it is necessary for us to understand his will. When you have your doubts, when you have your concerns, and your anxieties, he's the one by your side, hearing you, listening to you, saying, do not be afraid, I'm with you. Do not be afraid, for I have crystal waters and calm waters. Do not be afraid, for I have the food. Do not be afraid, for I take care of your, of your, of your life. I have found you. I have put you on my shoulders. Brethren, you who came here tonight, know 
that he has the perfect love, a love that you don't know, a love that the wife and the husband, the more he takes care of, God's love is even bigger, greater than that, because his love is perfect. It's to allow, it was allowed for his son to die on our behalf so we could have eternal life. That's how he describes in this text we read. And the father, he knows. He knows his son. That's why he's, he knew. He knew that he would give himself in our place. It's the situations in the Bible showing Jesus as the good shepherd, especially the Old Testament. Abraham, when God proved, uh, uh, proved his, uh, um, his faith, he obeys. He obeys, even though knowing that his son could die, when he was about, when he was about to, to go away with his son, he says, we will go, we will worship, and we will return. He answered by faith. And, and Isaac, he said, I have, we have the fire, we have the weapon, we have the wood, we have the fire, but where is the victim? Where is the lamb? And that's, and that's the question that the world asks. And, and the father, he answers by faith, God will provide for himself. No, no, no. no, no. Não, 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 não. Ah, tá. Eu achei que você era essa menina pequena. Não, não. When he looks to the side and he sees a sheep, he sees a sheep that was there waiting to be killed, to die in the place of Abraham's sons. And because of our, our nature, there is a judgment. We would have to be killed. We should have killed, be killed, actually. But Jesus died in our place. And you're here tonight before the Good Shepherd who knows your voice. He knows when you, when he calls, you, you, you come. When he tells you to go, you go. It doesn't matter the, the trials, the difficulties you go. If you, if you give your life to him, you will be safe. For he will take care of everything, of all your decisions. He will provide for you. Praise the Lord.
as we were praying for the service, the Lord showed through some spiritual gifts that, uh, that there's doubts, there's questions with the family about the rapture. You are before the, the shepherd, the good shepherd's calling you, saying there is hope. He's saying, those who believe in me, those even if you're dead, you will live, you shall live. If you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, if you have done this act, calling you to the calm waters, you come. Calling you to the green pastures, you come. You're being taken care of by the shepherd. You're being prepared for the, for the last part of, of the text we read, where it says, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. There won't be any tears and cries, but only joy, for we will be before the good shepherd. God also revealed a man that came here, a man who's half dead, if you will. He lives, but there is no, there's no hope. God is taking this man away from the spiritual cold, coldness. He's warming his heart. Tonight is the night where the heart of this man has, has burned once again. And do verse 16 which says and all the sheep I have which are not of my this of this fold them also I must bring so God's glory is in this place so he's so your name praise his name so your name is is in the book of life let's stand to sing the last part before we end the service the Lord. Eternal Father, we praise you. We glorify you for this, these moments of fellowship, for your mercy, for your flock is, is, is gathered together in your presence. We praise you for this great for this grace, for this uh, love, this mercy, and in the life of each one here. Oh Lord, your mercy may be upon us. And your Holy Spirit may show your will and your project, what you have, to do, what you want to do in our lives. Take us back to our homes and in, in protection. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And the grace, and the, the love of God, our eternal Father, the grace of Jesus, our Savior, and the kind and consol kind consolations of the Holy Spirit may be with us now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. If you need any any more any other assistance, we'll be here. Um, we're here to assist you, to pray with you, and so there, there we, we can give you the assistance, the proper assistance. Tomorrow we'll have the Sunday school at 10:30 in the morning, and also the service, the service regular service at 7:30 at night to all peace of the word.